true. Damn! Goblins! Like the sight of blood, do you? Thought you'd have had your fill at the gate. Might be more blood spilled yet, if Zevlor starts in on the lectures again. Well, finally. Someone who ain't got horns where their good sense should be. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe. But not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight. But not Liam, no. He charged him. The stupid bastard. No. He must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. Oh, mercies. Well, it was his caravan. If it ain't the friendly drow. Thought you were with the goblins when you showed up at the gate. Glad you weren't. You fight well. Not like them bloody tieflings. Half my crew are full of holes. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here. And losing track of the bloody druid. Alson. He's a leader around these parts. Or was. We've got a contract. To track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. Well, that was new. I haven't seen that before. He for a good while after this. Normally he gets kicked out of the grove. How you lie to me, boy. Now you have it. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Boulder's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? God, that sounds like heaven. Won't be long now. One more trip, then we can really rest. Well, bummer. Since I'm not Baldorian, I can't say anything. Oh, actually, Astarian is Baldorian. I wonder if he gets something different. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Thanks. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? Oh yeah, there we go. I think I've heard of that place. Something about a stuffed dragon's head in one of the dining rooms. It's settled, Dannis. You, me, and the Elf Song Tavern first thing when we arrive. If we see you there, we'll get you a pint. For your finder's fee. Yay! Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Mm. Scowl on your face, my fucking troll. <laughs> Thanks for fighting off those goblins. 
If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Toro. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Torel fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Oh, sweet. Oh, just less damage, though. Oh, cool. There's more armor. Neat. Ugh. Of course I can't wear anything. Lame. Oh, I can use a rapier. Awesome. Oh, that's expensive though. Um... I can get her a new shield. Oh, that's not really worth it though. Wait, who's yelling? What the heck? What I did for some salt. Me and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. We should have left by now. Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. 
This place is lost. You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Yes, that Laroican. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. I've admired Laroican for years, but I've worked myself to the bone for this. The names Roland and Laroican will. Don't you lie to me, boy. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards! Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Mm. I already told you I don't have it! How stupid! Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Pickle. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will search out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. It's just a healing potion, nothing fancy. Here. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it. But are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. She is not to know of the... our ailment. Only a gith healer may make us pure. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? As you wish, Petal. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother. Care now, sweetie. I'll have to burn them. Okay. Um let's equip that. Right, I can equip it. Yes, I can. Awesome. I do 
ready for some salt. Don't you lie to me, boy. I know you have it. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. Don't be grumpy, Roland. I will. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face would frighten a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. <laughs> You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers, racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! <sighs> you saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. I'm no stranger to the Infernal. Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now. Preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Forget my dexterity is. My face will guide Well, hello. Okay, so I should have Asterian approach the children. That's what I should do. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two.
Thanks. I prefer when they smile. All right, time to masquerade as Astarian. Let's have him go talk to the children. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Call it. Heads or tails. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? I, uh, don't know what you mean. Hey, that hurts. I'm running an honest... Uh, okay, what's a tinker's trash? Uh-huh. Come back any time. Oh, well, he didn't try to steal from me. Rude. Hey, hey you're back. back. Look to buy, sell, or what? I knew it. Hang on. That's what I got. Dang it. Nothing caught your eye, huh? You spot the boy giving a sly wink as he turns away. Dang it. I didn't catch him. Let's try... Looking ahead. Let's try... Actually, no. There's no time to waste. My All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Oh! Hey! You're one of those drow, right? I heard stories about you. How you all live underground and steal kids away. Oh. Okay. Um, hey. Would you like to see something fun? Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Wow, I'm gonna do garbage at this. Yep. I failed. Awkward trick, here it comes. Oh shit, I can roll again? Alright, well I don't want to waste all my inspiration on this, so... Oh, I succeeded! Awesome! Weeping, bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing... Call it. Heads or tails. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Again? I mean, sure. That's what I got. feel something moving against your back and turn
I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Oh no. Uh, hey, are you here to trade or? Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. I am sorry. Sorry we're still talking about this. Look, you caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around here. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. Please, last room. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. You tree hugging bastard! Step back. You study our home. Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. Okay, have a good night. Thanks for watching. If you're sure. As you like. Perhaps I'll see you at camp. Okay. Now that she's gone, we can go talk to this dude over here. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you?
Lower. You saw another gift. Where? On the road to Baldur's Gate, N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Up. You can keep your innards. Oh, you're not going to eviscerate him. I was hoping for a show. Cool your blood. I'll indulge you soon enough. Gods, deliver me. No time to rest. So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. Chuh. A shell so thin requires little to crack it. 
The Teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. I am unfamiliar with the... Well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... Fey run. The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the Parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak, roughly translated, idealist do-gooder, or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset, his pursuit of valor, not so much. Chuk, you believe you can survive without me? As you say, do not keep me waiting. Again. Hmm. Doesn't taste off bad. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not. Found you long. No petal. Need anything? Any lotions or potions? Hey, bother! Care now, sweetie. Hello, Petal. Need anything? Any As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly. I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. Oh, whatever do you mean, Petal? You're not calling me a dryad or bless us and save us one of those aladrin flighty buggers i'm a simple woman sweetie tea and potions are as exciting as it gets for these old bones 
But enough nattering. I'll be heading home shortly. Here, let me mark it on your map. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Peg. Now you lie to me, boy. I know you have it. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. I will! gonna shoot me your hands are shaking put it down she can't fight back that's the point get out of the way she didn't kill your brother Arka you're better than this shoot before you lose your nerve tiefling if you ever had it to begin with I'm not afraid chosen by the absolute I am I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Here it comes, you little beast. I told you, not now. until Roman yeah. shows off his thunder wave. Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> True. Right. I've got food. Water. My dagger. Don't you lie to me, boy. I know you have it. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. I will!
I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course, though sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the Archdevil's Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. A powerful friend with a keen interest in... privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. You are a warlock. You know about bound souls and frozen tongues. I can only leave the rest to your imagination. Suffice to say, I hunt monsters, devils included, and I will do what I can to quench the coast of their flames. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah. But that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Tiny grooves spider across the ice surface. It resembles a sending stone used to confer with distant contacts. A sending stone? <laughs> Nothing so special, I assure you. His breathing quickens. His jaw tenses. Will is keeping something from you. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Gladly. Anything more we should discuss? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle. But I remember drying the boy's tears after. Proud. No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. Baldur's Gate born and raised. The only son of a single father. He wanted one life for me. I chose another. We haven't spoken since I left the city. A classic drama. <laughs> A staunch father and his rebellious son. Better heard from the bard's lips than mine. <laughs> I've come to know a fair few village clerics, but none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. We should pay her a visit.
Something the matter. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. A long way to go still. Speak. It is done. We get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. There's a trap. This place wasn't built for the living.
Be careful. Which way you go? There's a trap. There are traps about. Traps. How considerate. Blackets will be done.
no choice but to keep going. <laughs> is your end. Thank you. <clears throat> Never a dull moment. Close at hand. <clears throat> well, so much for peace.
Make way. from here. Watch your back. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Assume nothing. Still alive, so that's progress. Let's have a look at myself. do not recognize the language on the plaque.
someone there? A crooked touch. Armed scribes, but no sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Jurgle, scribe of the dead. I didn't think anyone still worshipped him. Don't touch me. My face protects me. Still breathing, despite everything. Something over there. Important is ever easy. Death 
won't take me yet. No. Time to strike. Taste my fury. will do nicely. afford to let up. Sounds like fun. Let's grab what we can. Need to stay focused. On my way. Time to push my luck again. Swift as my feet can carry me. Swift. 
and lethal. Make way. if this is worth the cost. No choice but to keep going. Another day, another fight. They didn't want to surrender their valuables, even after death. They're unthinking cadavers. I may as well feel sorry for a breadbasket. A long day. I'll need to rest soon. one sarcophagus. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? An arbiter of certain matters, but that is not important now. Wilt thou answer my question? So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? Thus, balance is achieved. If all are at war, none can win. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell.
forbidden knowledge, without a doubt. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. opens a loose page comes with it magic pulses from the parchment what was once script is now an obliterated scrawl you have a sense these are names a list but of what Once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. Can't afford to stay idle. Let's move. Well, some rests better than none. These chambers are much changed. Gith, aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? My name is Lazelk Chucky, and my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I ask.
think your kin search for you, Blaisdell? I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many, and will not be a burden to my queen. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. I fail to see the distinction. Step back. You sully our holy ground. 